Before they meet Simon, experts Mark Hopkins and Jay Hunt want a little background information. They've wangled the keys to Simon's house and they're hunting for reasons for his mammoth debt. While Jay will look for where the money's going, Mark will concentrate on why it's going. Here we go. Right. Chelsea. Football mugs. Chelsea. Chelsea. Ah. Oh. Definitely a football thing coming through, I think. <laughs> Let's see what's in his fridge. Beer. Right, I think you can definitely tell a gent lives here. It's, what is it about <laughs> Bacon this? Bacon rashes. Like jumbo size. Definitely. Everything has to be so big. Oh, look. You see, that's interesting. Mother's Day With card. lots of love, Simon. I just wonder whether he actually lives here with his mum. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Now we wow. know where the money's going. Ugh, it's slightly surreal that yeah. he is 24 years old. This is like walking into a 14-year-old's bedroom. That's just what I was thinking, isn't exactly, it? yeah. Look at the little single bed. Mm. And... <laughs> I know, I just had a quick glance. I mean, what they're doing is they're, they're a really close-knit bond. Just, just from looking at that, you know, they really look like they're together. And it's like there's nothing else. Yeah, there's no completely. girlfriend. If you were a woman and you walked in here, you'd be out that door quicker than the blooming fastest striker <laughs> Chelsea's ever seen, let me tell you. Yeah, that's true. Aha, uh -huh, look. His statements. Yeah, look at these. <gasps> 17,000 pounds. The problem, I think, is going to come when we go, OK, reality time, Chelsea is going to have to be cut down and condensed. I don't know whether he's going to work with us on that. You know, I think it's going to be tough. Yeah, so do I. Bank statements in hand, the full horror of Simon's spending is about to be unleashed. Before meeting him, Benjamin and Jay borrow the keys to his home for some undercover research. Colin has spent the last 15 years sharing a house with his aunt and sister. Jay's looking for signs of where the money's going, while Benjamin's hunting for the reasons behind the non-stop spending. This is it. OK, up the stairs. I know the experts are in my house at the moment, and I'm a bit wary, a bit scared. Well, this must be their main living room. Oh. This is very much the space of um, an older person, isn't it? This is Aunt Marion's, isn't it? Yeah. You don't get any sense of anything to do with Colin or his sister. It's like a much more elderly person's room, all the pictures. You wouldn't want to bring friends back here in the evening, would you? Or... No. Ah, oh, look. Mm -hmm. Home of the Last Supper. Yeah. It's all coming back to me, convent girl. Well, this is a bit less aged. Although it does have a TV, this room. Oh, look. Basil Hume. Oh, Kitchen yes. prayer. More religious information. Now, this must be Colin's shelf. Really? Yeah, see, look, this is all just... What are these? All ball. Marks and Spencers? Yeah, fruit, mango. But if he's shopping yeah. like this sort of every day, fine, if you can afford it. But it's a pretty expensive way to so do your shopping. That must be... Oh, so that's his shelf. Yeah. So, again, the, even the fridge is very much divided, even though they're a family. It's weird, cos it's a family home, yeah. and yet it feels like... A student bed set, isn't it? ...living yeah. in three bed sets. Do you think he just hangs out in his bedroom all the time? I guess he must. Shall we go and have a look? Yeah. It's up here, Jay. Here we go. Right up in the eaves. Oh, wow. Look. It's very much Ken, not Barbie. Yeah. Oh, that was his dad. Mm. So that's th three years ago. But still out, still out on display. Oh, look, there's all his chums. So this is the sort of thing you'd normally see in someone's sitting room, isn't it? Yeah. Pictures of friends and their interests and their Quite videos on TV. See what's over here. This... Oh, look, more friends. I love these sort of things, cos they show... Uh, they really show like, where the person lives in their mind. Oh, in, in another room. bathroom. Hotel room. Hotel That's Brighton. Room. Yeah. The lanes. Lots of pictures of people on loos. It's my friends on the loo. Yeah. It's a theme. Hmm, I might have to look that one up. Yeah. So obviously he likes travelling, he likes mementos of travelling. He's bringing it back, he's bringing the experience back in photographic form so that he can live there Rather in his head here. while actually living here. And that split could have serious consequences for his financial situation. With no bills to be found, Jay and Benjamin must hunt for clues elsewhere. They're after paperwork, the black and white reasons why Colin's in the red. The management of my business is quite bad at the moment. I have a big pile of bills and I just like don't bother opening them, just keep them hidden in a drawer sort of thing. 
Jay and Benjamin head for Colin's salon and discover that he rents his business space inside a much larger salon. Oh, look, here we are. Very nice. Colin's empire. It's very colourful. Champagne oh, sweet. pop. He's even got the pop champagne. So he's put a lot of time and effort and money into creating his own space within this salon. Yeah. I wonder how the business is doing. Oh, Hair brushes. Mm-hmm. Aha, here we go. This is them. Here we go. All his payments in yeah. are from the salon. And then all the payments out are personal, like hotels, clothes, hotels, mm. hotels, yeah. hotel, hotel, hotel. Phone bill, of course. Yeah. <gasps> That's a sucking bill, isn't it? 1758.85. So we're going to take these, yeah? We should straighten them out, though. You should separate his personal and his business. Yeah, definitely. Before meeting Adele, psychological coach Mark Hopkins and lifestyle expert Jay Hunt want to know what's swept under the carpet and what's lurking under the mattress. They've borrowed the house keys to find out. Right. Ooh. OK, very clean. Immaculate. Ooh, it's, I feel like I ought to take my shoes off. Yeah, I know, I know what it is. Know. One of those houses. Oh, it's very much a sort of parent's home, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Very neat and pristine, Everything isn't it? Everything has its own place. Jay's looking for physical clues, while Mark's focusing on the psychological reasons for her addiction. Ah, computer room. That can be a danger if you're an overspender. Internet shopping. I just always spend money. Most of it's on clothes or going on eBay. I got a bit addicted to eBay and started going on that quite a bit. I actually get a buzz of, like, bidding on something and, like, winning it. It's also a buzz as well, you know, waiting for it to be delivered in the post and, like, coming home from work and there's a parcel waiting for you and there's some clothes. Look, this must be hers. This looks well, it's like girly, Adele's room, anyway. But it's, like, young girly. Mm. Hello, Adele's room. Mm. Look it's, at this. It's a princess's room. Look wow, princess. Oh, my God, there's so <laughs> much stuff. Look at it all. I mean, it's oh, very this. neat. Dior. Little Dior sort of ring trinkety thing. Mm. I mean, sort of classic you know, waste of money type oh, right. thing, really, isn't it? I mean, she obviously she likes can't do anything her sort with of... These, you know, everything... Have you noticed she's, like, done a sort of designer label? It's yeah. like the Dior, Jean-Paul Gaultier. I mean, it's like she's sort of almost done it, set it up for us. <laughs> it just sort of says everything. It's kind of here. alive here, isn't it, on a dresser? Yeah, absolutely. But look at this. I mean, it's weird because it's like adult girl dressing table. Uh, it's like there's two people and almost living you... in the same room, yeah. isn't there? You've got the cuddly toys up there, cuddly toys here, and then all the makeup and the perfumes. I think it quite often happens to people when you still live at home in that half of you is the adult who's out doing everything, and then the other half is the little girl who still lives here. Yeah. And I think sometimes you, especially if you're in the family home, you revert to type. To the outsider, she comes across as a very confident person, but she isn't. And I think she tends to buy things, and when she goes out, it's like a mask. It's absolutely crammed with stuff. I can't even open this because of all the things on the dressing table. Down here, loads of black bags, stuff piled in here. There's what a, is that? There's just, just loads more of clothes. clothes. And they've just been thrown in here and they go all the way to the back of the other side of the bed. Jeans. How many pairs? One, two, three. Once I've worn it a couple of times, it's like, oh, I don't like that, and I pick faults with it, and, oh, it makes me look fat, or it makes me look like this, and then um, if I go and get something new, it just it makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> More. Seven, eight, not even worn, nine... That's nine pairs. Well, they're all very similar as well. It's, you kind of like, you wouldn't use one for one occasion and one for another. It's ridiculous. Oh, look. Uh, statements. Statements. Let's see what she's been spending on. Let's turn that West card. That's look at that balance, balance 1,586. When, when I run out of money, I just go to my bank account and it's just run out of money. I don't tend to keep a check on it. Cash, cash machine, cash machine. She has quite a lot of getting out cash. River Island, that. look at that. River Island, River Island, River Island, Tesco, Tesco. Yeah, it's like quite a lot all mm. in one day. Almost like she gets the urge that day and just has to go out yeah. and spend lots of money. Right, we're taking all of these. Right, Leave our jeans, take these. <laughs> 
While the house is empty, Jay and Benjamin borrow the keys and have a good nose around. They want to find out where the money's going and why. Are they going to see signs of overspending? Oh, I'd like to see. Not really, no. I think I'm all right. We'll just need to wait and see. I think this is really interesting. When I come in here, wow. I don't see any evidence of somebody who's clattering their life with stuff they're spending on. Yeah, but you know what? You don't see any evidence of children either. It's like it's a child-free zone, it's a calming zone. It is. It's... But there's none of those things, like there's not 50 million videos or no. DVDs or CDs or loads of... A toys clutter, or nothing. crayons. It's quite calming, though. Yeah. I must say that you walk in and you kind of think, oh... But then you have to ask, what is it that she needs to calm down from? But there's much more evidence of a really pared-down, simple and anally in control way of life up here. Here we go. Oh, the, yeah. This is like downstairs, isn't it? Very clean. Yeah. But this is a very private room. This isn't a public room. So it must be that she really likes her space to be quite neat and spartan. And it's all quite under control, isn't it? I like things in their place, where they are, so I know where to get them. So I would say that possibly someone coming in my house might think, oh, does she live here? But I do. Oh, look at this. What you got? It's like modern-day girls porn in the bedrooms. Is it? Excellent. Yeah. Just lie looking at catalogue well, shopping. Not those gorgeous uh, blokes in there. Tight no, reading. it's the tops, it's the skirts. Oh, right. It's a real thing, Excellent. just lie in bed late night reading. You know what's really surprising, actually, here, is this house does not make you think this woman is a shopaholic. No. Because there's no evidence of stuff ever. You'd expect there to be wardrobes spilling out with purchases. See, this is interesting. Yeah? This is an expensive, very nice shop. Jo Malone mm -hmm. sells fantastic candles and perfumes. Ah, the candles. And very nice packaging. And she keeps the packaging. It's just something to make you feel good, you know, if you're sort of having a tough week or something and you think, oh, God, the kids are playing up or whatever, you know, and I'm not going out or whatever, I think, oh, I quite fancy getting something nice and I'll buy something like maybe the Jo Malone or maybe a nice product or something like that, you know, a Clarence body cream or whatever. But it's, it's not all the time I do that, but it's just quite nice to buy something nice for yourself. It's a real love affair with the process and not really the result, because we don't see the result here, I but know. we see in her finances and in the packaging that she loves the rush. Mm. It's the thrill. It is. I think it's a rebellion, because I think that this house shows a real sense of neatness and of being buttoned up. And I think we'll find that the shopping is her way of screaming a rebellion. Oh, look. Another one That's of your favourites. That's a favorite. lot of frocks, isn't it? For a two-year-old who's going to grow out of stuff. It's a decent wardrobe. Yeah, no, it for is. For a kid who grows about one foot a month. Look at all of that. These are all tops, tops, tops. In fact, that's more clothes than I've got. Yeah. I'm not growing out of them in three weeks' time, I either. Know. That is quite a lot of stuff. I think we're finding our clues. <laughs> I get a buzz out of buying Olivia clothes just as much as I do. But also, she's a little girl, you know, and, it, I mean, it's so tempting. There's a lot of pressure as well, you know, like all these little girls' clothes. Are everywhere you go, they're so lovely, the way they're laid out, the colours, the feeling of them. So just buy all the time. Benjamin? Yes? Look at this. Ooh. This is like stock compared to the rest of the house. But look, organic, organic. What's down here? Oh, look, everything's these special ranges. Yeah, very nice. Finest pizzas. Quite interesting. Yeah, that's a lot of money. I mean, it's nice food and mm -hmm. nice stuff to give your family. If it doesn't well, come cheap. I'll tell you what strikes me about it, having wandered through the house to get here, is how the fridge is stuffed in a way that the house is actually quite spartan. Yeah. And suggests perhaps that the vehicle for warmth and love in this house is through the kitchen, through the food. There's no sign of clutter and no trace of any receipts or bank statements. Can they find the centre of this financial black hole? Experts Jay Hunt and Benjamin Fry have persuaded Kate to leave home for the morning so they can hunt for clues which might explain why she's so much in debt. Jay will look for where the money's actually going and Benjamin will search for psychological motives behind Kate's spending. I'm sure they're going to discover that I am a compulsive shopper, an impulsive 
um, which I suppose are two bad things to be married together. Um, I'm sure that's what they're going to find and they're going to find that I've got far more stuff than I need. Aha, uh -huh. very neat kitchen. Yeah. Ooh, look, let's have a poke in their fridge. It doesn't feel like there's been a lot of cooking in it, hasn't no, it? No, I know. Well, there's not many meals in there or many things to sort of cook with, apart from eggs. There's no sort of, like, basic... It's most snacky, isn't it? Yeah. I think I probably eat out two or three times a week. Um, and then there's weekends, so often there's takeaways at weekends. Nice takeaway menus. You're making me hungry already. I know. Have a look at this, Jay. Ah, oh, now you're talking. <laughs> I don't think anybody in this house does much cooking. I can't cook to save my life. Well, I'm saying I can't cook. I'm sure I could cook if I put my mind to it. It's just chocolates and crisps and cereals. This is like what I used to live off as a student. Yeah, it is a bit like immediate sort of food. It's not very heavily used. Jay and Benjamin head upstairs and soon realise that Kate and Budget are not well acquainted. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Girly that? stuff. Let's have a look in here. Oh, look at all of this. I've got a large collection of makeup. I mean, mo a lot of my money must have gone on that. Is this normal? Dior, Mac, Clinique, Dior. Look, this has still got the paper in. It's hardly been used. I mean, there's hundreds of pounds worth of stuff in yeah. here. I don't really use it. It's like, oh, yeah, that'll be great when I go out. I can try this and I can do this. And that'll go with this top. I, I just don't go out. I like this. Shopaholic, licence to spend. <sighs> Sort of a joke, but... Yeah, but not know, really. It's not really if we're here, is it? No. Look at all this down here. Loads of shoes Shoes in boxes. Up. Oh, look. Shoes, the same shoes, in two colours, and she's never really worn them Those in exactly either the colour. Same, aren't they? God. Oh, my God. Bags with bags. Absolutely stuffed. Lulu Guinness, that's not cheap. Even I know that. Do you have one of these at home, Jane? Tell you what. A fashion catastrophe fund box should be a damn sight bigger than that, yeah. given the jet she's got. It's like it's all a bit of a joke. It's a bit of a joke, but it isn't. But it isn't a joke, is it? Let's have a look in here. They've all got labels on. There's lots of things in my wardrobe that I've never worn, and they're just there collecting dust. Label, labels. <laughs> it's the wardrobe of labels. It's like she just can't help herself. It's really funny because... They've all got different sizes. I've got 16, 18, 20, 22. Over the past couple of years, I'd say I must have put two or three stone on. Um, and that's making me feel pretty miserable. It's the wardrobe of somebody who has fluctuating weight and also who, I would predict, buys things thinking, oh, I'll, if I buy that, I'll slim to get into it. Look at all of these photographs. Oh, so that's this, her? Yeah, that's her. And then that's her more recently. And then there's one of her now. Down in the dining room, the clues are coming thick and fast. Aha! What is that? It's half full of stuff. She's either throwing it or maybe it's going to the charity shop. But that's quite a nice leather jacket. Weird. And as for Kate's financial records... Found them. Oh, look, loads of stuff in What's there. That? Wow. Wow! Dorothy Perkins next, Marks and Spencer. Look at this. Ravel shoes, Debenhams, Debenhams, shoes, Debenhams, Debenhams, Evans. So she's taking oh. credit cards and just running them to their limit. Yeah, her balance is up to 5,000. Rotating credit limits on different cards. I think there's a whole load of stuff going on here, so I think we should take the whole lot. I think the plot may thicken. Before meeting Sharon, Benjamin and Jay borrow the keys to her flat. Jay wants to see where the money's going, while Benjamin's looking to form a psychological impression. Have a look in here. It's not bad in here, is it? It's quite sort of, you know, it's neat and tidy. What's in here? Not a kitchen that's full of loads of expensive things or products that are going to go off. Not much evidence of spending a lot in here. I'm struck by normality, actually. Mm. Unusually. <laughs> I'm, I'm struck by things being relatively normal. Yeah. That what really worries me. I'm hoping that they won't find a particular item I purchased a couple of weeks ago. It's a fur coat. I don't want them to find that because it's quite embarrassing, actually. <laughs> oh, look. Pictures of Jamil. And he was small. Oh, I'm going to have a look in here. Go. 
like every colour of the rainbow in here. Look at this. Oh, she's one of those. What? Buy a top, Ooh. buy it in another colour and another colour. That is wasting a lot of money. But is this also about indecision? Yeah, it's like the well. bargain hunter who thinks they've cracked it. Oh, look, ah. it's on sale, so whilst I'm here, I'll just get three. Mm. And what usually happens is you wear the one that you originally liked and the other two never get worn. What's in that end wardrobe? It's interesting, isn't it? Because you could overspend simply by being indecisive, couldn't you? Rather than by being greedy. Yeah. Wow. This is where the money's going. It looks like another collection of a vast number of relatively modest priced things, mm. don't you think? She's a quantity rather than quality shopper, but this is where her money's going. What's in there? Oh, oh for Look at coat. that. How hilarious That's is that? That's very P. Diddy, isn't it? Oh. I've got to try it. I've been dying to have a fur have coat. Have a P. Diddy moment. Go on, then. Oh, yes. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> Benjamin, that is seriously cool. <laughs> I think that's it. That is it. I'm sorry, Jay, I'm leaving you. <laughs> I've discovered my new profession. Take it off, it's freaky, actually. OK. Now we've finally found out where the money goes. Benjamin, you need to put your serious jacket on. Yeah. Cos look at this. Oh. All her stuff. Primark, New Look, Marks, QVC, TK Maxx. Mm. Lots of QVC, QVC, Amazon, eBay. Mm. Oh, and look, 297 on that card, 640 on that one, 707 on that one, 367 on that one. And what's interesting is a lot of small expenditure, yeah. isn't it? It's but not blowout stuff. All it's just a up. constant drip feed of 20, 30, 40 quids. Let's take these. That's quite it's compulsive. Quite a lot of them. Experts Jay Hunt and Mark Hopkins have just four weeks to steer Marlon out of financial peril. They begin by investigating his executive pad. Do you think that's his car? I think it's a really nice car and I reckon it is. Mm. Jay's looking for signs of where the money's going. Mind the yeah. Oh, well, that thing's fixing. Taking one step at a time. While Mark's focusing on the reasons behind the yeah, non stop yeah. spending. Marlon's banished to his beloved Beamer. Them going through my house, not really something that I'm, look I'm looking forward to. This has been Marlon's home for the last nine years. Wow, look at this. Right. God, this is really weird, you know, because I had a really clear idea in my head. Mm what his flat was going to look like. Right. And I was imagining, like, bachelor pad, minimalist, mm. everything almost sort of black and white, very yeah. modern. And it's like... I don't well, it's know. not like that at all. I mean, it's... I mean, there's just a l loads of things on the floor. I mean, this strikes me, first word that comes to mind, impulsive. Do you need two PCs? Do you need two DVDs? It feels really disorganised yeah. and cluttered. So there's so much yeah. stuff all over the place. Nothing has its place. And I kind of think, well, what does that say about what's going on in his head? Mm. You know, disorganisation, clutter of the mind. But it's weird because it's like all this money's been spent on this, mm. and yet look. Yeah, the house needs some finished work. Nobody's finished off yeah, putting the lights exactly. up. Those blinds over mm. there could do with going up. At yeah. this moment in time, I, 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 I sometimes dislike going home because I just don't like the way it is. So there's a lot of there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Wow, look at this, Jay. <laughs> There's just so much stuff in here. Oh, look at, look this. at this. You've got two sets of rollerblades, two tennis rackets, abs ball, you've got a bicycle, you've got a guitar, you've got golf clubs. There's just so much in here. Yeah. I mean, there you is. can't be using all of this. No way. God, it is just chaotic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right. Bedroom? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Well, oh. <laughs> look at this. What's the jackets? Look, all the shoes. You know what's interesting about here, though? What's that? Is that although there's it, initially it looks chaotic, like the rest of the oh. flat. What's interesting is that there's much more neatness. Like all and those shoes. Structure, I would say. You're right. Are you know put out? Mm. It's all very neat. Yeah. I know where all my belts are. I know where all my shoes are. I think. 
Look at all, all of this. this. All that aftershave. Oh, but look, it's here too. Most people at 36 definitely would know what aftershave they like yeah. and what suits them without having to have 40 pots of it and displayed as well. But you know what, Mark? What's there is that? a lot of money that's been spent. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of clothes in here. There's a lot of aftershave. I mean, look at all these belts. Mm. This is a guy, in terms of his public persona, I think there's a lot of thought that goes into that. He's really careful about how he looks, and I kind of wonder why he's like that. It'd be really interesting to explore that. Kitchen. Oh, look at this. God, you see, again, it's so <laughs> weird. It's like all this post well, it's not open, is in a neat either. pile. <laughs> yeah, but it's not but open. But it's not open. None of it. Look at how weird is well, that? Some of the, there are quite a few bills there as well, by the look of it. I'll tell you what. Quite a few credit cards. <laughs> That's a heck that of a is like a nice little yeah. stash. Look at that. Mastercard, NatWest, Morgan Stanley, Amex, Goldfish, Burton, Egg Card, Fraser Card. I mean, in theory, there could be a lot of debt on those cards there. I know. What's that? Is that the like uh, statement, and car right? insurance? And loads of statements. Bills and statements. Right, I'm going to take this with us. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. What I, do you reckon? I think so. I think it's going to be really interesting to meet him, just with all of these different dynamics <laughs> going on in this house. We'd better get started. Yeah, let's go and find him. Tommy lives with his mum, younger brother and sister on the outskirts of Bromley. While the house is empty, our experts borrow the keys and have a poke around. They're after clues as to why Tommy's in so much debt. Now, this must be the main living room. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. There he is, Tommy. Quite interesting. These pictures are all of Tommy. He must be up to the age of, what, 10? or They're nothing? all of, like, the family as young yeah. children. I hope it wasn't all downhill from there on. <laughs> What's that? This is interesting. It's a poem about his mother Sweet. by Tommy. There it is, framed and up. It's obviously a very special memory for someone. Yeah. I'll find out more about Tommy and his mum later on, I suspect. Yeah. Hey, they head for Tommy's bedroom. While Jay's looking to see where the money's going, Benjamin's searching for the psychological motives behind Tommy's spending. Oh, bingo. I think we found it. It's definitely a man's room. God, look, football boy, Benjamin, look at this. Wow. How many pairs? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my God. It's about 20 pairs here. Some people collect stamps, people collect different things. I, I, I happen to collect football boots. You're talking about £100 plus per pair. So what does that say to you? Prada, Gucci, football. I think this guy is a footballer's wife's husband. Premier We're League. getting the clues. Oh, he look, wants to be a football teddy. star. It's not like a footballer's fantasy to come home to this, is it? <laughs> Sweet, That's isn't it? I know. Look at this. This is like man's boutique, isn't it? God, look at all this. These are real sort of footballers. Watches, mm. Arsenal one. I think these two are fake. See, these are the Jacob ones right. that all the footballers wear. But that, yeah, definitely isn't a fake. So that's about £1,500 worth of Jacob watch. Wow. Footballer's favourite. So this is really bling-tastic. Mm. You kind of want that image, the footballer's kind of flash lifestyle. And obviously I kind of fold it because I'm not a footballer. But I've never really thought about that because I had I have missed a credit card. Well, you can tell how his priorities are because these are all so neatly put here and these are all stacked up. So this is definitely a football display. It's a cupboard. shop window, isn't it? Yeah. Look at all of those controls. Trust me, that's normal for a man. Is it? Yeah. No way. Who's this lad here? Manager's player, 2004 to 5, Tommy McNally. He's obviously quite good. Look at this. I'm delighted to tell you your application for a credit card has been accepted and your credit limit is £2,000. So he's obviously just applied. Gucci wallet, stuff full of credit Stuffed cards. Stuffed full of credit cards. Oh, look. Packages, packets, packets, all They're the stuff. delivery notes you get yeah. when the postman can't be bothered to ring your bell. But there's loads of boxes over there, but what's he buying? With the internet auction sites, I will buy... Pretty much anything. God. PayPal, PayPal, PayPal. Those are for internet auctions. Mm. Total unpaid balance, £8,215. That's stonking, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What's that? That's an odd one, isn't it? Payment to McNally, reference man of the house. I mean, irresponsible child of the house might be more. Yes, but I guess he may be actually the man of the house. 
I think there's quite a conflict here between the boy and the man. Man boy. Boy man. <laughs> let's take this. Come on, let's go and get our football boots on, okay. see what we can do with them. Okay, now... Armed with Tommy's bank and credit card statements, Jay and Benjamin prepare to put his spending under the microscope. Before they meet Alan, experts Benjamin Fry and Jay Hunt want a little background information. While Alan's on yet another shopping trip, they've wangled the keys to his house, which he rents with a friend. Jay will focus on where the money's Ooh, going. Look. It's in the middle of decorating, obviously. While Benjamin will concentrate on why it's going. While they're having a good look around the house, um, I'm trying to relax by having a bit of retail therapy in one of my favourite shops. Ooh. Oh, no, look. Oh, smell. I don't think that looks delicious or hot. What's in there? Nothing but condiments. Oh. Do you think that's for the takeaway? Yeah. That's how they keep it delicious and hot. <laughs> <laughs> this is your typical kind of almost student-type blokish grotto, isn't it? He's obviously redecorating in here too. That sort of still needs to be finished. I think, to be honest, I've got a bit of a man flesh view here. You think they live like this all the time? And this is how men live when there are no <laughs> women around to keep them nice and tidy. <sighs> Lovely. Let's go next door. Oh, glitter ball! Wow. Good Lord. When they go in the lounge, they'll probably see the carpet because of my um, parties. It's a bit stained. Look at the debris. This is just like the morning after the night before, isn't it? This bubble machine, drinking game. Mm. Is that one of those things that puts all the lights on the ceiling? That looks like a decent gyroscopic light. It's a bit sort of. Manky. Grim, isn't it? Yeah. You know what right. this really reminds me of is going into a nightclub like in the morning. And it all looks a bit grotty. And it's just not nearly as much fun as the night before. It's making me a bit nervous. You know what? I worry about upstairs. the bedrooms, yeah. <laughs> I know, come Let's on. see where the party carries on to. Well, look. Single bed. It's a bit weird for party boy. Oh, look, boys' toys. Look at all of those. Excellent. That's quite a lot of money, isn't it? Quite a nice setup. We quite like Look that. Look at all of this. Hmm. Nice amount of hair products. Do you Obviously. think that there's a clue here towards the orientation mm. of this bedroom? It's a male <laughs> salon, isn't it? Tongs, <laughs> hair dryer. I know. And all his tops hanging up. I mean, they're sort of quite bright, quite extrovert. You get that sense of the focus being about being out of here. Yeah. And actually being here is rather difficult, maybe because the house is a bit grotty. Oh, look, that's all this paperwork. Oh, there we go. The mother load. Yeah. I think when they have a look at my bank statements, they're going to have heart failure. They're, um, they're not the best statements in the world. Look at this, nightclub, nightclub. Oh, dear. Nightclub. Oh, dear. look at all these takeaways. Hair, yeah. takeaway, top shot. But it's all in the red, isn't it? Mm. Just endlessly. Yeah. What's this? Financial training. That's what he needs. Financial training. That's, That's obviously going are, really isn't well, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> OK, I think we'll take this with us as well, then. Yeah. Yeah, got we'll, it? We'll train him, Jake. OK, retraining. Retraining. Back to school, kiddo. To get a wider sense of Lynn's situation, Benjamin and Jay have borrowed the keys to her house. While she's out, the experts wade in, looking for clues to what she's spending on and why. OK. Oh, yeah. Oh, cluttered hall. More and more and more stuff. It's extraordinary. All down here. And more stuff. Oh, God. There's plenty of champagne down here, though. Look at all yeah. of those. So there's a social life. Yeah. It's not like she's alone. Drawer missing there. I wonder whether this oh. is all full, full of stuff. Oh, look. <laughs> Loads of statements unopened here. And look at all this. It's endless. I and mean, what's she doing with this stuff? £6,000 overdrawn. But look when you go through it. Mm. QVC, TK Maxx, Simply Jewellery, shopping, River shopping, Island, shopping, TK shopping. Maxx, Burberry's. I'll tell you what's weird, she's got everything that she ever had in her whole life except all of her bank statements. If you could go to Relate <laughs> with your credit card, maybe that's what I should be doing. Um, oh, wow. Wow, look at this, another okay, very, okay. very busy room. <laughs> <laughs> it's Takes me back to my time in the Serengeti. Oh, God. It's like every single available bit of space is full up. Elephants, gloves, perfume. Any opportunity when there are shops around, I have to go in, I have to buy something. 
if I see something, I have to get it. No matter if my guardian angel screaming in my ear, you know you haven't got it, you know you shouldn't do it, I just kind of flip it off, switch it off and just do it anyway. Look, chest of drawers, two wardrobes, trunk, there's those cases there and another two set of chest of drawers there. And I just bet you that every... Yeah, single one. Look, oh you can't God. even... That is solid. Pull up. With stuff. I mean, look at all of that as well. I mean, the kids' games, now those average about £40 per game, and there must be about 40 of them. Huge, huge, huge amounts of money have gone on filling all of these wardrobes and Chester drawers. Shall we see what else? Yeah. We have... Hold on, Jay, there's a room we missed here. What's in there? Oh, look. Oh, <gasps> this is oh like, look. We'll disappear in time and space if we spend too long in here. This is obviously the overflow junk <laughs> room. When I found a whole load of unopened bags with labels on, I did think, hang on, I'm hiding this from me now, it's not just from other people, and that's really worrying. It's almost schizophrenic to actually have to do that, to hide it from yourself. Hold on, this should be the dining room, shouldn't it? There's nowhere to eat in this house. Or the children's playroom or an extra bedroom, whatever. It's extraordinary. It's like there's so much in the house already mm. that it almost defies belief when you come in here. Yeah, I know what you mean. Because up till now, it's just been a little bit crazy, but now this is, this is really a bit weird. But you know what? You come in here and it's like this room screams at you, I am out of control. OK, let's get out. It worries me. See, look, I can't even find the door handle. There's about Please. 40 things hanging on this door. At least we know she's a size 10. <laughs> the experts borrow the keys and have a route around. Jay is looking for where the cash is going, while Mark wants to piece together a psychological profile. Wow, look at this. Yeah, all Computers, those boys' toys. Yeah, <laughs> records. <laughs> Snowboarding. He looks quite good. Yeah, he does. I suspect he's been doing it for a while. <laughs> wow. See, that's what I call boy speakers. Yeah, definitely. You've got that. some... The setup's great. You've got two over here, one over there. Probably linked to his system over there. It's great. Those are expensive. Yeah. Let's check out some drawers, see what else we can find. Yeah, oh, just some remote controls in there. Not all else. Hey, look. Here's ah, a whole load of... Yeah, oh, yes. There's lots here. <laughs> <laughs> now we can find out where it's all been going. Right, I tell right. you what, I'm going to leave these here. Don't let me forget them on the okay. way out. All right. Look at that. Ha-ha. <laughs> What's this? Ah, oh, it's a snowboard. An expensive yeah. snowboard. Well, he obviously uses it. Yeah. It's quite a nice board. Yeah. I mean, that's about £400 worth of yeah. board. And also, snowboarding holidays aren't cheap. Well, that's the thing. Quite weird to think that someone just, who I don't know is going through my stuff. Don't know what they're going to find. I don't think there's anything there that shouldn't be there. Neat kitchen. It's very clean, isn't it? I know, I'm going to have a sniff around <laughs> the fridge. I know, the I fridge. love looking in people's fridges. What have we got? Fresh produce. It's quite healthy in there, apart yeah, lots from of a lot of beer. beers, <laughs> yeah. But look at that. That is quite... That's a hefty chunk of meat. Yeah, beef. How if much I is had that? to hazard a guess, it's like beef, about 40 quid. For that? Could, yeah. I wouldn't mind coming for dinner Yeah, here. no, definitely. I'm going to have a quick look in this garden, yeah, shall Yeah, let's check it out. Ah, oh, look. Oh, a boat! <laughs> oh, it's in disrepair, though. I wouldn't really that. call it much of a boat at the moment. Listen, I don't know much about boats, but what I do know is a boat that is not in the water <laughs> is generally expensive uh, yeah. because it's being repaired <laughs> and that costs a lot of money. He's an outdoorsy kind of guy, isn't he? So you've got the snowboard and you've got yeah. the boating. Quite expensive hobbies, but also about excitement seeking mm. as well. Here's someone who likes to be outdoors and doing things, and that doesn't come cheap. No, that's for sure. Must be his bedroom. Yeah. Oh, not a lot of room to open the door. Oh, look. More sort of... Snowboarding yeah. type glasses, aren't they? Caps. But look at this, you see, all these T-shirts. Mm. and it's, I mean, it's a look, and if you yeah. look at all of those sort of trainers There's... under there, well, that and they're about cheap. 50, 60 pounds yeah. for and a pair about... of those. About 12 pairs there, by But the he's way. obviously really into this whole yeah. look. It's an image. His yeah. concept is about being a snowboarder. He wants everybody to know, yeah, exactly. hey, man, I'm a snowboarder. Exactly.
Jay and Mark take away Luke's statements to delve deeper into his wrecked finances.